Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. So maybe you want to ride backwards as fast as New York Tarzan. Or you want to have complete backwards freedom like Chapeau de Roux. I can't do that right now. <laughs> or maybe you just want to improve your skills and become a backwards master god level like Lolexina. Or maybe you just want to learn a new skill. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Anyways, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to ride backwards and give you some tips and tricks on how to do that on EUC. So let me tell you more about it. Very important safety notice too. Just like Jimmy Chang says in all of his videos, always wear your gear. Thanks for watching and when you guys ride, wear your safety gear. Especially when riding backwards, have your helmet on. If you're falling on the back, that's really bad. I don't want anyone to get hurt from this video. Please wear your helmet. And before we get into learning and tips and tricks, first of all, I want to tell you that riding backwards is weird and it will feel unnatural. You know, you do the same movements that you have learned already before on EUC, but you get totally different results. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get it the first try or don't beat yourself up ever pretty much because it's just weird and takes some practice to learn. Uh, with that said, today we are on the M10 threes, or I mean M10 four, sorry. Sorry, little fella. Because uh, this is probably one of the best EUCs to learn how to ride backwards on. Of course, you can learn on various EUCs from the biggest Master Pro to, you know, a Sherman or other wheels, but it just takes a different amount of effort to especially learn how to ride backwards on those wheels and to ride backwards as well. Yeah, I, I guess that's that. With that said, generally speaking, the lighter the wheel, the easier it will be to maneuver it and you know change the direction where you're going. And with a heavier wheel, you just need to use more muscles and still stay balanced. So if you have a smaller wheel sitting around like a 14D M104 or your friend's wheel, which is small, which you will probably smash up, then try with that first. All right, so there's multiple ways to learn how to start riding backwards, but before you even go this direction, it's best to feel it out how the EUC and your body actually reacts to this movement. So if you do know the pendulum, try that first. You're moving back and forth. You put your weight on your heels. So typically the movement you do when you're braking now results in a backwards motion. Sort of like you have in a racing game and with your controller pad. Keep braking, then you start going backwards. If you don't know how to do pendulum yet, you can just find a wall, lean yourself against it, feel it out. See what movement does what results, and then maybe at some point you can slowly start to go along the little wall. So once you've tried that out a bit, um, you can try this technique where you just hop backwards a bit on one leg, feel it out, see how it goes. And this is just another technique to, you know, figure out how to start riding backwards at all. So like this, and if you have to stop, then just stop. It's not necessary to go this way, but I just give it to you as a possible way to start riding backwards. So just the initial movement to get yourself into the backwards motion. Another thing you can do is you just ride forwards. So we go forwards and then you start braking and you keep on braking until you go in the other way. And it's really difficult to get over this zero point. So probably you'll just need to move your hips a lot, do some twisting motion with your hands to stay balanced. But this is another way how to get into this 
backwards motion. And once you're comfortable, like on the M10, you can also overpower it backwards. So be careful with that. <laughs> but uh, on other wheels, it's very hard actually to overpower them going back. So it should be totally fine. Another thing we can do is that you can go to a wall and then simply push yourself off from it. Oh, you're also going backwards, Serge. Nice. Thanks for the help of the camera, by the way. Uh, is there another way I know? I think that's it for now. So now let's transition into the actual movements that help you go backwards. Right, guys, so once you are in the backwards motion, it's um, kind of tricky to stay in it because going just straight requires to, to, to constantly adjust yourself into you know, left and right movement. So what you can do is probably the easiest thing initially is try to adjust yourself with your hips because you can turn with your hips and this is relatively easy to adjust when going backwards instead of right away you know, doing this sort of motion where you actually turn by tilting the EUC sideways. It's very important to keep putting pressure on your heels. So it's very unnatural, it's very weird. And initially, go find yourself a big space like this because it's better to not look back when learning how to ride backwards. And with this pressure on your heels, try to stay mostly straight because sometimes, uh, we'll stop for a second, uh, you get into this movement where you think you're, you're having your weight into the back, but you actually don't. You have like this sort of movement and you don't, don't go back. So it's important to actually be straight and put yourself, put your weight on your heels that you actually can accelerate into this direction. When you want to turn, just like riding forwards, it's easiest when you look into the direction you want to go. So if you want to go this way, you look back over your shoulder and you go this way. If you want to go this way, same thing, over your shoulder, go this way. So it's very d difficult actually, initially, it's still difficult for me to go, to look this way and go there. It's like, oh, <laughs> very tricky. But once you have this movement, probably like New York Tarzan, he's just like carving backwards, then you can get the hang of it and actually do the same movements you go forwards, but backwards. Put in your comments, uh, how many times did I say backwards in this video? So then additional help for turning is uh, if you put your weight on your right heel, so I'm putting it on my right heel, I will go, what is it, right? Is it from your perspective, right or left? Oh, for mine it's left. Okay, then you go left. <laughs> and if you put it on your left heel, then you go left. And then if you are already in this motion, braking will be even weirder because you need to put your weight on your toes. So you put the EUC sort of in front of you, behind you. <laughs> and then you stop like this. So it's really just the motion of acceleration just the other way around. It's, pff, it's really weird. But I hope you, you understand somewhat what I'm saying. So initially, you can either be good at riding just straight backwards, or you'll be just able to go one way. And doing circles initially is totally fine. When I was learning how to ride backwards, I just could go, I think, left. But I, for the hell of it, I couldn't go right. So it took a long time for me to figure out how to go the other way into the backwards motion. So this is totally fine if you feel first comfortable just going the first way, which is, I don't know, left or right, keep learning it. At some point, your brain wiring will understand how to go the other way. So then, once you feel comfortable, you can try doing figure eight. So you go first here, and then we turn around the other way. And your helps, your hands will be helping with that. So any motion you feel that is helpful to keep balanced, to keep on doing the, the necessary movements is, uh, is good to do. So these were the initial things, I guess, to help you learn how to ride backwards. Now we'll do some, of, some more of the intermediate things.
So if you want to get more tricky, more intermediate with your backwards riding skills, then what I think pretty much every time I want to explore you know, new techniques is what can I do forwards that I could do backwards as well. So one thing is you can try accelerating a bit more quicker, but at your own risk, risk that's not easy. But essentially just like accelerating forwards, you can do this backwards as well. Keeping up speed is pretty difficult, but if you really want to go a bit quicker, you will need to learn how to constantly look back, have your legs a bit loose, and really feel what kind of movement does, you know, what result when riding backwards. On Gotway wheels and on veterans, you will have pedal dipping as well if you go into turns backwards, so it's very weird. When it comes to inclines, I like to do those backwards as well. It's really easy to overpower the wheel when you do inclines because you go on your heels. So keep that in mind, just to stay a bit more loose during, during that. And then going downhill, you need to go on your toes to brake. All of these skills will also help you just feel more com comfortable as a rider doing all of your tricks, just braking as well, because it's the same sort of movement, but different result. And if you really want to go nuts, then uh, I guess watch Chapeau de Roux video, watch Tutu de Semen. All I can tell you is you can, you know, switch directions. That's already a bit of a different trick, both ways. And you know, just progress your skill. EUC is amazing because you have endless possibilities. This is one of the very few devices where you can almost do anything this way as you can also that way. So keep exploring, try it out. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you at all. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.